This is slide number 10, and it shows the important relationship between alcohols and alkyl halides, and specifically how you can turn alcohols into alkyl halides. Alkyl halides themselves can be turned into a wide variety of other products, so oftentimes the purpose isn't just to make the halide and stop. This is just perhaps one reaction in a, in a sequence that may lead to more and more elaborate structures. Uh, but being able to substitute that OH group for a halogen is an important thing. So this chapter delves into this reaction in pretty good detail. It's been studied to death. And you can see here the way I've highlighted the groups, uh, what's really changing here. Uh, R originally stood for the word radical, but it specifically just means an alkyl group. Uh, it doesn't refer to an element whose symbol is R. I don't think there is one of those, actually. Um, and of course the OH tells you that that would represent a general alcohol. And pretty much any alcohol when mixed with a hydrogen halide, and they use X to represent any of the halogens, um, that alcohol is going to react with any of those, and you can see what we get is a substitution. The halogen takes the place of the OH group. Its fate is to become part of a water molecule. And so uh, that's a very simple case of what's termed a substitution. And organic chemistry is full of substitution reactions. Depending on the alcohol, this can sometimes go at room temperature very quickly. Sometimes it involves boiling the, uh, the mixture of the two reactants for a while. Generally, the alcohols are liquids, and so are the ha hydrogen halides. Um, but it is going to be the case that pretty much any alcohol can be substituted by a halogen, uh, even though it certainly depends on which halogen we have as to how fast that happens. And so that's one aspect of this reaction we're going to talk about. Uh, what pred predisposes an alcohol to react more easily and more quickly? What predisposes these hydrogen halides to react more quickly? Uh, so that we can get an idea of, of how feasible these reactions are. Well, one thing that's noted is that the particular halogen that's involved makes a big difference. As you can see here, HI reacts faster than HBr, faster than the hydrogen chloride, much, much faster than the hydrogen fluoride. And as it says, the chloride and bromide are the ones used a lot. They are the cheapest, uh, and so oftentimes we are making chlorides and bromides. Uh, HF, as it says, really doesn't react very fast. There are other methods to put fluorine in molecules, but we won't discuss fluorine uh, in this chapter because, uh, at least as far as hydrogen fluoride goes, uh, it doesn't really do much. As it says, hydrogen iodide works well, uh, but the corresponding alkyl iodides that you get uh, tend to be not very stable, and so chlorides and bromides are used more often. But for a given alcohol, this is always the order in which the reactions would go by speed to give you the corresponding alkyl halide. And so the chlorides and bromides are fast enough that they make good amounts of product in a reasonable amount of time. But this ranking is going to be important <coughs> for you to know. The other thing that matters is the nature of the alcohol, and in particular, how many carbons are attached to the carbon that has the OH group. So we can classify alcohols according to these four types. Methanol is kind of in a class by itself, but there are lots of different primary alcohols. Primary because the carbon with the oxygen on it has just one other carbon attached to it, <coughs> and this little one degree symbol is referring to that. Secondary alcohols, and this would be the simplest case of that, uh, they have the carbon attached to two other carbons. And again, it's the carbon with the oxygen that we're focusing on. That's where the arrow is pointing. Tertiary alcohols uh, have three carbons attached to the carbon that has the oxygen. So all alcohols correspond to one of these classifications. And as this arrow implies at the bottom, tertiary alcohols react a lot faster than the others assuming they're all being mixed with the same hydrogen halide, that is. And we're going to talk about why that's the case as well. But you want to be able to classify alcohols according to this scheme. <coughs>